Okay, so this is my 2009 Branson 6530, and uh, we blew a leak here in this power, one of the power steering lines. Um, it was just a drip, and then I did some bush hogging, and now it's an all out, full blown leak. But you see this metal line here. Um, somebody hodgepodge that and bent it all in there. They even brazed it once, like soldered it. Um, it's supposed to be a steel flex line in there because that axle moves and your wheel turns in and out obviously from the power steering so I'm gonna see if I can get Napa to make one and get a repair on this alright so I went and got the new hose for the Megatron 2.0 and you see they had a real hard 90 in there so I assumed I didn't really look at it that close so I had them put a 90 in mine but it, it was too much so I just put that in the vise and I bent that 90 out closer to a 45 and this other end is straight so I think that'll work and I got this uh, Kevlar coating um, just to be safe so what happens is right here is your top connector that hose comes right through that little eyelet there and then it does make a left turn in there but it's not really that sharp and then it needs to go straight into that power steering end so i'm going to give it a whirl and see if i got to bend it a little more or if i can make it work okay so this <clears throat> this line ended up being a little too long uh, because of all the bends in that last one so i got way more than i really want here so i either have to leave it on the outside but keep in mind that panel is coming across here so I don't think it's gonna fit on you know or I gotta run it a loop in here and I don't like it that close to that fan belt but I mean it's got probably two inches of clearance and then I'm gonna test it out and see if they hold all right so here's my idea I'm gonna make a pipe strap loop for it and hold it into place Besides duct tape, pipe strapping is like number two to have on your farm or your place because you can do a lot with this stuff. Um, not quite as much as duct tape, but this will work in a lot of binds like this one. I think this will work perfect. Okay, so there's the finished product. I got it bolted into one of these fan shroud bolts. Um, it's, the tube can slip it up and down just a little if it needs to, the hydraulic line. And now it's going to stay where I want it. So now time is going to be to test these. If they leak, turn it all the way to the left and right and see, uh, see how that thing does for positioning. Golden. I think we are good to go. Back on the road. And that that hose was 50 bucks at Napa for them to make it. But since the repair, we've got probably three, four hours of bush hogging and another four-ish hours of uh, power tilling. So it looks like it's going to be a success. I wanted to get that completely finished before I take this tractor over to Kentucky. So if you're new to the channel and you enjoy tractors and excavators and farm projects and that, um, hit the subscribe button. We'd like to have you on board. So until next time, Capper out.